focus your mind on the breath and make up your mind that you're going to stay here no matter what. No matter what thoughts come flowing through the mind or blowing through the mind, you're not going to get blown away by them. You're going to not going to get washed away by them. You're going to stay right here. This is a quality the Buddha says is a blessing when you direct yourself rightly and then can stay in the direction you decide is really good. All too often we let ourselves get pushed around by the world. We're like little dust motes. A little breeze comes through and the dust motes just go wherever the breeze flows. This has some like hummingbirds, a slice little noise, the hummingbirds run away. You want to make your mind more solid. Now this doesn't mean that you're totally impervious or insensitive to what's going around you. You are sensitive, you do know. You realize that there are areas where you do want to look good in the eyes of other people, but you want to choose the right people. That's what it means to direct yourself rightly. Because there are lots of opinions out there in the world. If you let yourself get swayed by every opinion, you don't get anywhere at all. You want to look for the opinions of the wise, and then you want to look good in the eyes of the wise. That's what a healthy sense of shame is all about, the shame that comes with self-esteem, that you want to look good in the eyes of people that you respect. It means holding firm to what their values are, their values that you agree are good values for you too. And one of our values, of course, is that we are sensitive to other people's needs. But we're not going to let ourselves get pushed around by other people's opinions. It's important to make that distinction. Some people think that Theravadans are selfish, that they care only about themselves, and that's not true. Many of the kindest people I know are Theravadans. And simply we have to get our priorities straight. Part of having yourself directed rightly is that you are compassionate and you do have goodwill. But again, it doesn't mean that you're swayed by everybody's opinions. That's not what goodwill means. Goodwill means wishing that they be happy by doing skillful things. And you're going to be happy by doing skillful things. And if they're going to be happy, try to be happy by doing unskillful things so that you don't wish that kind of happiness on them. And you don't let them influence you to do unskillful things either just to please them. You've got to keep yourself rightly directed. And that way you give blessings to yourself. A lot of people come to the monastery for blessings. Well, this, the Buddha said, is one of the blessings that you give yourself. You give it to yourself at any time. Keep yourself rightly directed in the direction of a happiness that's harmless, blameless, a happiness that's going to last. That's the direction you want to be headed in. And make sure that you keep heading in that direction. <laughs>